Hey, what's going on guys? I know you probably haven't heard my voice in a minute, and to be honest, I just woke up from like a seven month coma, something called school, and now I'm glad to be back, and hopefully I don't take that long of a break ever again, cause it was pretty sad being away from YouTube and all. Well, now that it's my first video back, I'm gonna be trying something completely new that I've never done on this channel before. We're gonna be doing a 100 day series, except I'm gonna be playing on a multiplayer world this time, with a group of my friends, and there's gonna be no boundaries or no kind of rules, and we're just gonna see what this leads to. So let's quickly introduce the boys. First we got Revel, Davis, and then finally here's Prov. And the background cinematics that you guys are seeing right now are actually not going to be from the world that we're playing on. This is a previous like multiplayer world that I played with these same group of friends like a year or so ago. And I thought I'd just throw it in because I needed some sort of cinematic clips for this video. Well, with all that out of the way, if you're new to this channel, this is a perfect time actually. So make sure you go down and subscribe because I'm going to start uploading more Minecraft content again. And now let's get straight into the video. Alright, so pretty much the first day started out like normal. I was getting some stuff set up, so I was a bit behind all my friends. They were getting iron and stuff, and I was still chopping down a tree. No, I just found the cave from next one. Davis! Wait, Dave, that's that like the right second time, bro. Come on. To my right. This is gonna yoink my stuff, bro. And that night came really quick, and I basically spent it just hiding in like a little cave, getting some iron cooked up and food cooked up. And since some of my boys didn't have beds, we all just agreed to go down and mine for the rest of the night. And we were going to build a more permanent shelter on day two. Let's just start building like some sort of place where we can just settle down here. Let's just make it super basic for now, just so we can have like a spot so we don't die at night, you know. It's daytime, but there's still zombies jumping us, bro. This is annoying. Let's build a simple house. Day one. Simple house, bro. This guy's building a whole house. Bro, it's not. It's a simple house. It's a, it's a curved box, bro. It's nothing, there's nothing complicated about that, bro. I got and the second day started out a bit rainy, and my friend Revel over here already had a diamond pickaxe, which was kind of crazy. And as you can see, we kind of got our little settlement established, and I'm kind of just building while they're getting more stuff set up. My boys over here found a spawner down here, and we got acclaimed. We had a rough night. Wait, can we sleep now? Let's see if we can sleep. Let's see. Oh, guys, we can sleep. Get in bed, boys. Get in bed. Get in shot, guys. Guys, I need help. I need help. I need help. And quickly the third day came with not much really happening, just normal Minecraft stuff, so I thought I really wouldn't include it. But I found this cool Illager outpost, and I walked up to it, but I realized I really was not prepared. I had an iron chest plate, and I didn't have a shield yet. So I decided that I would probably just come back and visit it later when I was a little bit better equipped. Oh, and I was also able to get a horse and tame it, and I also had a saddle with me, because uh, one of my friends actually found one in one of the dungeons below our house, so that worked out perfectly. It is day four, guys, and not much has changed, I'm gonna be honest. All right, well, let's get let's get the horse stable set up. We can make a farm or something. And I might I might finish up the house. I don't know. Yeah, there's iron horse armor in the chest for the crazy one. Oh, I'm, I'm yoinking that. Where is it? Okay, you like it, yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. And also, uh, we got horses. We got Providentia's diamond horse. And I got my oh. iron horse. So we're going crazy. All right, so it's day four here. And I wanted to mainly fix up the house today because it kind of looks trash, I'm gonna be honest. And all my friends are getting food and getting like a horse pen, cow pen, all that stuff getting set up. So that's great. I was also able to kit myself out with full iron tools as well as some iron leggings. All right, so on days five to six, we kind of explored. And while my friend was grabbing some cows over there for the farm, I pulled up to the pillager outpost and I have a shield this time. But when I got here, there were no there were no bad people around. So they just basically just let me freely walk in. I guess that's good. And when I walked up and opened up the chest, we got potatoes, guys. That's great. Now we can start a potato farm, so that's going to be pretty cool. We don't have to just only eat bread now. And I was also exploring our local ocean. And there were a lot of cool islands around here that it had to offer, including one that had a bunch of spruce trees on it. So that's going to be nice for later. I think I'm actually going to go grab that right now. All right, so I'm getting some glass panes in for our house here. Wait, Prav, what's what's this pen you're building back here? This birch one? For chickens. chickens. For chickens? Okay. Yeah, eggs. I want eggs. Yo, sea turtle. No shot. Where? Are you in the beach? Bro, that's yeah. some plastic on him, bro. For real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep him, bro. I mean, if we had the lead, maybe. I don't, even, I don't know if we can lead turtles, bro. Where do you put it? On his neck? Wait, are you blocking him in right now? Oh, stop swimming, bro. Hey, yo, man, <laughs> chill, chill. Can you put him in like a, a box? I don't know. I'm trying to get him to swim over here and then I'll just cut him off. All right, we got him blocked in. We good, we good. No, 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 get back in the water. Get back in the water, bud. Keep him, bro. Yes, sir. Actually, like, getting him, Why are you bullying me? All right, well, hopefully in later days when we can figure out how to like tame this guy, we can actually have him as a pet and on display somewhere near our house. 
And on the night of day seven, I thought about our current housing situation and I really didn't like it. So I think I'm gonna plan out a newer house and hopefully make it look a little bit nicer. I just grabbed some dirt and stone from our chests and I just made a simple layout. Oh, and if you guys are wondering why there's like those jungle planks just sitting here, apparently one of my friends found like a sunken ship out in the oceans that are near us. I don't know exactly where it is though. And I decided to fill out some of the flooring first for this new house. It's gonna be in like an L shape, a little bit smaller than our current house, but I think we can expand on it easily. I also moved it a little bit closer to the waters. And of course for our first real house, we're gonna need a lot of wood for the sides. So I started chopping down some trees. And I used those logs to make the pillars of our house. I do this a lot with my builds because it adds like another sense of depth and it just looks a lot more realistic when there's actual wooden beams holding up the sides and corners. And by the start of day 9, I had the house coming together slowly. I even made a stone cutter so I can get these stone bricks right here. And I also textured the front with a little bit of stripped logs, but I might do that around the other sides. Kind of lazy though because it takes a lot of wood and I don't really want to go get more wood to be honest. And I continued working on the house into the next day. And keep in mind, this is a time when my friends weren't on, so that's probably why you guys don't see much other progression other than just building right now. And I was finally getting started on the roof. Also, there's a big hole that you see right here. I'm going to leave it open for future developments because right now this house is very small and will not fit four of us, that's for sure. And this was pretty much how most of my time was spent for this past couple of days, waiting for stone to smelt. And when the sunset was approaching on day 10, this is what our house looked like. We had like a little extension to the right hand side as well as a part that went up because I'm thinking of maybe making a two story house just on that one side though. And I probably will just end up expanding it even more later. All right, so day 11, the boys got back on and he harvested all of our wheat that has grown since I was building. Now we got a ton of wheat to hopefully expand our cow farm. I also herded over a sheep and made a separate pen just for the sheep. Hopefully we could start a rainbow wool farm later. You never know. Bring a water bucket though. Oh yeah, there's a huge drop. Wait, there's some crazy stuff though. Wait, this is part of the new the new update, dude. We got oh I see you down there. We got a bunch of uh oh, the deep slate or whatever the shit is. Oh I, I yeah, have yeah. Water. Oh you have water bet bet. Sheesh bro, this place looks crazy, bro. Wait, this is huge. This is a is this 1.18 or is this 1.17? I honestly don't know. Yeah, I spent a while inside of this cave. It was huge, and I'm guessing it's part of the new cave update. I haven't played in a really long time, so that explains why I feel kind of confused about everything that's new here. So after I dueled that skeleton, I kept on venturing down, and the cave just kept on getting bigger and kept on going downward. These things are absolutely absurd. Definitely one of my favorite parts of the new update. And it kept on going until day 12, and I still couldn't find any diamonds. Meanwhile, my friend Revel, he found two different veins of diamonds, although one of them was a one vein. So Revel, you got the enchantment table stuff? Is there okay? Um, sure. yeah, so I got a bunch of iron from the mines and I got some food. I'm gonna make myself a full set. Um, do I just put the enchantment table in here for now? Oh, yeah, because like this is like our main area right now before I finish our new house over there. I have 14 levels and I also have some lapis in the chest. And once Revel got down the enchantment table, I spent one experience level and got sharpness one on my iron sword. I'm gonna save the rest of my lapis for a bit later, hopefully, when I get some diamonds. I also started working on an underground area in our new house. I think it'll be a good idea to expand downwards since this house looks pretty small on the outside. We'll probably end up having our nether portal in here once we make it. Me and Revel also began just making a simple mob farm down here, just having like the water kind of rush out in an area where you can kill him. It's not going to be anything efficient because we're kind of too lazy to do that right now, but hopefully we can get a little bit of early XP. Alright, me and Revel finally finished this up. It's really simple, kind of came up with it on the fly. We got some signs, the items, and the zombies will flow down into our killing chamber. And there you can see Revel getting some XP right now. And later I came back to actually try out this farm and it worked a lot better than I expected, a lot more efficient. Since it was right underneath our base area, the zombies were constantly spawning so anytime I go down to check there was always a ton of them. Alright, so me and Revel decided to go out and explore for a while. We were looking to find a village because we wanted to get more bookshelves in our enchantment table so we kind of sailed off in the sunset. It was looking nice, going in some random direction. In the middle of our journey, we decided to take a pit stop and cook up all of our food, so we should not be starving for the rest of this experience. And soon enough, we came across a spruce bomb, which is really great, because I don't know if you guys know this, but if you've been a constant viewer of this channel, you will know that spruce is my favorite wood to build with. I just love the darkish color. I think it looks great. And later on, during that night, we found one of the giant spruce biomes. I don't know exactly what they're called. We were able to gather some berries as well as some mushrooms and saplings, so hopefully we can recreate these huge trees at home. And since I don't really know what else to talk about on this journey, here's a little time lapse.
I am at the Eskimo place. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. My shield is gone, bro. I need your help. Yeah, I got you, bro. I got you. I got you covered. Hello? Wait, what are these guys? Wait, that's new. That has to be new, bro. I haven't seen oh. that. I actually haven't seen that thing. All right, I'm making a run for the... Huh? Oh! There was a creeper right next to the uh, igloo. It's an igloo. That's what it's called. Okay, so there's a furnace in here with nothing. There's a redstone torch. Oh, they're fighting each other. There's a bed. We have a crafting table. And then I think there's something below here. Wait, is there nothing underneath these things? I always thought there was something like, like a hidden door, like a hidden room underneath the igloos, but I guess not. You know what? Maybe we should head back since we traveled like, you know, 3,500-ish blocks yeah, I'm away. I'm heading back right now, bro. I'm on the way home, we found one of these sunken nether portals, but there was nothing good inside of him. Just a gold hoe, the fortune three, and some glistering melons. We also came across a shipwreck later that night, but we stayed here for a while and tried searching for the chests, and we kind of got bored of it because it was really hard to find because it was all underwater and it was just hard to like look around, so we just gave up. And I know we're making a lot of discoveries here, but I found a pink sheep. I mean, that's what you do when you're exploring. You find a lot of cool stuff. I ended up killing it though because I'm probably never going to see it again. All right, so it's day 20 and we've finally gotten back and our boys pointed us in the direction of a village that they found. Uh, so me and Revel traveled like 4,000 blocks away and didn't find anything. I guess now there's a village that's not too far from our house. So we're here now, but it's all looted. Oh yeah, also one thing I just want to mention is that I changed the GUI scale to make it a little bit bigger because I realized it was on a smaller setting than what I usually play with. All right, I'm going to go back and uh, make make the fletching table or whatever so we can get some of the, the villagers that trade sticks because I think that probably is the easiest way to get emeralds. So I ran all the way back home and I like, crafted up one of these fletching tables. Now I got to bring it all the way back to the village. Oh, actually, I think I probably need to get some food first. I'm out of food. And the night has already come upon us on day 21. Things on the server have been moving really fast for me, I feel like. When I got here, I realized this villager wasn't turning into like the job that I wanted him to. I think it's because it's nighttime right now, so I'm gonna have to wait for a day and all my friends are away from their beds, so it's gonna be a while. Davis and Providential were in the mines, so I decided to just go mining as well while I was waiting for the day. I didn't really end up finding anything useful though, just got a ton of cobble. And when I came back up, I think it's day now, just still raining, this dude turned into a Fletcher, which is perfect. Now I just need to get him the stick trade, so I'm just gonna keep on breaking this thing and placing it down again. And there we go, 32 sticks for one emerald, not bad. Time to go grind some wood. After my axe finally broke, I crafted all of my wood into some planks, then turned all those planks into a bunch of sticks. Now I had like seven stacks of sticks I could trade with this guy. Thank you. And at the end, I was able to get 13 emeralds, not bad at all. All right, so uh, I finally got back home. Me and Revel here are expanding on uh, the basement of our new house. So we're probably going to have the enchantment table as well as the nether portal down here. We're not exactly sure how it's going to look, but we're just thinking of having steps up in like this corner and like also over here as well. So uh, I think I'm just going to keep on clearing this stuff out. I think we should probably have the uh, nether portal like on the side, like on like a left or right side. You see what I'm doing right here with like the, the slabs? Cause yeah, yeah. I think this would, it would make Why it would? look like there's more, I don't know, we're just experimenting with different, you know, materials. Oh yeah, wait, 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 yeah, I think we should incorporate some wood into it. Yeah, cause if there's it's all stone, be, it's gonna look a bit goofy. There's already gonna be some bookshelves, so there's- yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think we should, like, let's just do stone, like let's continuity. do stone. It's continuity, there's too much it's like- wood in the Continuity place. and change over time. Bro, we don't need a freaking BBQ. Yo, it's, it's oh, fine, bro, it's fine, bro. it's fine. Because like the, the floor is wooden up top, and then you go down and look up and, yeah. Wait, no, that, yeah, that makes sense, cause if the floor is wood up here the roof should be wood yeah now nah, davis is speaker facts all right so we're all in the basement right now and revel over there is experimenting with some like decoration and stuff we're also gonna have our enchantment table in that corner as well and i think i'm gonna build the portal right on this side i might move it somewhere else further deeper down later on but i don't know there we go and then uh i think that's probably good enough yeah we're experimenting with some of the roof down here as well i think we're switching it out to spruce planks all righty i think we're gonna keep it like that for now i think it looks pretty good And looks like Providential was correct, because as you can see down in the corner, Davis actually found a fortress really close to our house. So we had such a lucky nether spawn, man. That's perfect. And well, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. I hope this was a good length. Hopefully it's not too long or too short. It's been a while since I've been to YouTube, so 
Sorry if I'm a little off, but I'm sure I'm going to adjust back really soon. I'm also planning on uploading some more content in the future, not just Minecraft and expanding on it. I'm going to be opening a second channel as well, just from other kind of crazy stuff. So keep your eyes peeled for that in the future. A lot of promising things are coming to the OneTap channel. And as of now, my three friends that are on this SMP currently do not have YouTube channels. They might make some in the future, and I'll let you guys know what they are. With all that being said, I'm really glad that you stayed to the end of the video. It really means a lot to me. I hope all of you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next episode.